and Mamito have been dating for uh, quite a while. For a period of time, you guys kept it under wraps. Then about a couple of months ago, you guys were like, you've broken up and everything. Are you guys still together? And if you're still together, are you guys ever looking at marriage, wedding, having kids? Is this something you guys are thinking about? Or might it just, let's see how it goes. Did, did Mamito tell you anything? No. Nobody spoke about it. That's why I'm asking you. Did she I? didn't speak. You didn't speak. But you're here. So stop pulling those smart lines. But he doesn't say anything. No. no. You, you see, the problem with you people... That with, with you people? You create story. You people, you people for the media. Did she unfollow you? Yes. Popper is your boy, the chairman or guard, the top or guard, or being, if you see me seated over here and you see a table in front of me, of course you know it is Kula Kula you're watching. We are about to Kula Kula, we're about to eat. Kula Kula show, we're here to eat, laugh and engage with one of your favorite celebrities in the building. Yes. And today, favorite. we have the honor of having your favorite child. The privilege. The privilege mm -hmm. of having your favorite son, the son of the earth, the one and only creative, super director, CEO, stand-up comic, and businessman. Future parent. Future parent. Mm. Boutito. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate. I uh, <laughs> took this moment to grace this show. Uh, and, we really uh, needed you on this show, bro. Yeah, I had to, man. Yeah. You know, one thing with my life is people call me to bring value at places. <laughs> so, I didn't know why you called me here, yeah, but yeah. if it's no, the we same want reason, to add value. I'm here to yeah. add value. You're here to and add value. And eat. And eat. Mm. Boutita. So what I'm... Mm, mm. <laughs> ah. Nini. Ah. What kind of a joke is that? <laughs> this is yale, yale, yale chicken. Chicken. Yale yale special. Prepared without any spicy. Mm. Dips from... Ukiandaga maali, uski special. Very fire. Yeah, this, unajua. This potato. In Kariobangi, una place in itwa nini? Kamunde special. <laughs> so Kamunde special, is a type of soup that has chicken a bit, nyama kidogo, and uh, sometimes fish. So it, it, is, it, is a, it, is a, it is a soup cocktail. Ah. So you see cocktail here. Yeah, and the soup, chicken, You see the cocktail of a fish. drink, it has soda, it has juice, it has liquor. Uh. What, now that's a cocktail of soup. So what, what they do, they take uh, soup ya kuku and put in sufuria ya samaki, <laughs> kidogo. They bring it and they add beef. So this this soup you are not sure in a test me in a test me but it's soup it's soup it's like beef kidogo it's a oh sikulangi kuku hapana hiyo si ya kuku ni ani sasa baki so that is kamunda special okay. that's why i realized when you go to a hotel and you mention the name of hotel mm. and the word special it's a combination it is very expensive and you might see fire this one is expensive. So this and one, also you'll see far because it's amazing. This, this one is Miale special. This is what I love eating at Miale. Miale special. Anytime I come to Miale. And it's chicken. It's chicken special. Yeah. Miale chicken special. So if it comes with mm. Ugali, mm. I don't know why you're eating the nini, but it's okay. Mm. You'll know, you'll know. Uh, it now comes with Ugali, mm. then also spinach, creamed spinach. Creamed Bro, spinach. Bro, yeah, yeah. that feeling. Spinach is spinach, whether creamed or not creamed. I ah, see, you just eat. I have not even told you eat. You're already just, eating. It's just okay. stand, standing by because okay, I'm about to ask easy <laughs> eat, questions. Eat, eat. No, eat. You, I know you, by the way. I've done my research. Yeah. You think it's going to be easy? You know, uh, me. one thing with me is that I'm cute and bright. Those two things. <laughs> Whatever you tell yourself to sleep well at night, mm. yeah, it's okay. Being cute and bright at the same time. <laughs> you never be cute and bright. No, not with bad energy. Have you ever gone to a mathematics symposium? Uh, uh, no. Or a physics one? No. See but you. End a symposium here. History. Uh. Hey, people are cute. <laughs> <laughs> Where focus? Where stop derailing me? So I don't ask you questions. Try, 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 try. Try some of the chicken first. Then why do you know? Try the chicken. Mm. Then you tell me how it is. And then we can officially begin. Mm. Is that thing as well? mm. it's our chef Gordon's. Such shows, man. Every day. Mm. Live recording should be every day. 
So, mm. you've been in the industry for, let's say 10 years? Seven, 10 years? 10 years. 10 years. Mm. So, people know you and celebrate you more for you being a creative, mm. a director, you know. And uh, I, I've, I've known you before mm. as a stand-up comic. When you were a musician? Yes, when I was still at Waka and, you know. <laughs> With, with the blue shoes. That one. I used to rhyme supras. Don't say shoes. 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 <laughs> you are too colorful. Supra. If I had purple you supra, a chameleon. purple shirt, then my collar was always like this. Buddha chameleon and then stunners. Chameleon and kupadie get bust. I know you listen. Ah, focus. Mm -hmm. So, most people celebrate you as this and not as a stand-up comic. Mm. And you are a fire stand-up comic. But mm -hmm. people are like, oh... Because even mo most comedians who mm. do stand up, they come to you, they're like, Butina, what do you think? Me being one of them, mm. I'm like, what do you think of this joke? Mm. How can I change it and everything? No. How does that make you feel? I feel like, mm, I feel it's the other way. Like in, 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 in my 10 years, if people started celebrating me as a creator, maybe the fourth or fifth year, I'll be very far because I realized the past two years is when it blew up. Okay. Because now, you're the people who knew, the people in the industry, because it's behind the scene. But now the public came to know, let's say last year, after we did another documentary for TTNT. And now, it kind of started reflecting on the standard aspect. Yes, people who, know, who know me, uh, they used to know me as, com as a comedian. Yeah. Niko Churchill Show, Niko The Trend, but sour. Unajoka comedian, lakini kuna watu bado, hawa ni tabuika comedian. So you know, you know it's, a, it's, a, it's a free world. There are people who find you funny, and the others who don't True. find you funny. But now, uh, what used to, to pain me, kuniuma, is that sometimes I used to be compared with something that I've made. And someone is like, ujama kuchini manze, hata fadhali nione nani usikumzima. <laughs> and I'm like, yo kitu rata hako na usikumzima. <laughs> ni mimi ba, bado. <laughs> So, so uh, uh, okay. the only consolation I used to have as a comedian was that everyone in this country is my fan. It's either you consume either it. Either directly or indirectly. Directly or indirectly. indirectly. So I used to have that worry of, he stand up yangu, mbona, mbona mna recognize 50-50, mbona, mbona mlipati deal vile na fav, kuna vile, vitu zote na get, it's like, nazitafta sana. So, uh, I just realized the other day when, now, it, it sank to everyone's mind that I'm also a, a, a creative. I've been creating for comedians and nini. It's like, when kama, watu wamekuwa na show love in a way of, manze mis kujuanga bro ya ni. Mimi, I'm so mi wananga bro. kazi yako, sangine na criticize. Shika like. Lakini nasikia vitu unafanyia wase, ni meanza kupenda vitu zako. Shika subscribe. So now, uh, to me, I, I, I feel like uh, the creative aspect gave me great validation on okay. my stand-up. Because now stand up being a crowded area, kuna mtu atakama shikeleo, si tuka etukotua yes. po katikati, shiki. So I, I felt like it, 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 it gave me that validation to a point that I had stand up shows that I'd posted on YouTube. Ingine li kweme kwa manga 29, 30. Then all of a sudden the creative story comes up. I wake up one day, it's 110, 130. Uh -huh. Like things, vitu za angu za stand up zinanza ku. You're like, where yeah, are you? Okay, okay. I'll see you. Thank you very much, everybody. So now, okay, it okay. made me wonder if, if God was trying to tell me something. Teaching you patience and perseverance. Patience capital. Mm. Mm. That one. Mm. <laughs> cooler, cooler, bro. <laughs> it, it's I'll, I'll teach you, yeah, I'll yeah, teach you many things. Too. I know, I know. You're no, patience capital. Yeah. You see, there is capital for money. Yes. <laughs> where you have money and you want to invest. Yes. You put money capital now I there mean. is one biggest capital that's called patience capital okay uh, see uh, there are people will see kula kula today for the first time okay and there are people maybe who saw it last week for the first time okay but now from the first day up to now that's now patience capital <laughs> which artists don't have and then there's also human capital yeah which now artists yeah. lack uh -huh. It's about me, I call you to Kula Kula. You're like, you know, I can't come to Kula Kula. You know, I'm like, okay, cool. It's called investing in Then people. tomorrow you are sick. You mm. put me in a WhatsApp group. Mm. Bro, changa, changa, or you want to get married. Mm. Then I'm like, oh, so you refuse to come to... Yeah, so, exactly. Human right. capital. Yes, yeah, so, mm. 
Thank you for coming to Kula Kula once uh. more. <laughs> We've already spoken about it. Don't go back there. You are here to eat. And the way we do in Kula Kula, uh, the way you know, he knows I'm just doing it as a formality. When you taste the food and you're starting to like it, now we start to play the game. I ask your question, you get it wrong, you stop eating. I'll start li- I'll tell you when I start liking it. Let oh, me, me you'll tell me where I know you. <laughs> <laughs> so you are Luya and this is chicken. Mm. Ah, yeah. The first question. What belongs to you but gets used by everyone else more than you? Not a personal question or a universal question. You just answer the question. Belongs to me but get used more by everyone else apart from you. One eternity later. Like a cuckoo mm. <laughs> That's why it's me, me personal. Mm. So see, I'm the one who decides the answer. Mm? My nini, my, my, my PlayStation. Oh, wow. You know, I, see, ever since I bought PlayStation, I've played four games. Okay. But other people, hui, hui, Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Because the reason why I buy PS, when I was young, Kario Bangu used to, to Zunguka, one TV. Well, now you're bringing pity stories here. Ah, that's what's true. We, this Razo- show we don't ah, wait, wait. We Zunguka the TV like this. And then there's a kid with 10 shillings, I'm a lipa, and a game. And you're all there, hey, manze, PS, manze. PS. So, nitaka siku moja, nyeze kujikontrol ya time kwa TV yangu. Okay. Eh. So you fail that question, so weka kukuchini? Apana, yo swali likuwa personal. Weka kukuchini. What's the answer? The answer is your name. Put it down. Ah, that was not a generic question. It was a nini personal. So you want to come to our show and decide which questions we are asking you in our show with our food. Lisa. You recently featured on, a, on Netflix. That's another question, so another eating. This is not a question. It's a conversation. Mm. How did that make you feel as a creator? Man. Because everybody was talking about it, like the first Kenyan director, script writer, creative to be on Netflix, da 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 da, da. And even did in Kiswahili. Yeah, man. The I first, was watching the Kiswahili version, I'm like, huh? The first Sheng. Yeah. Slight Swahili. And then my Kems is talking in Kiswahili, I'm like, wait a minute. Hold up. <laughs> I'm like, no. Now, let me go back to English. Now, this year, I, I, I think it will go down in my history as an artist, as the year that defined a lot of things. So me, I'm seated, I'm hanging out at SPM there at the window, just looking at how the car the traffic is working. Then I receive a call. A guy called Philip tells me there's, uh, there's a script from United States uh, sitcom that is being, uh, needs to be adapted into Swahili. And it's, the problem is that it's a comedy. It can't be done by anyone because we have to maintain the comedy and change the language, mm-hmm. which is a very difficult thing because in English, where the punchline was, Swahili is not the same. Swahili is not the same. Yeah. And sometimes it is just one, uh, one word, then laughter. Now just replacing... Put it down here. Put it down here. Replacing that one word with the, an equivalent word of Swahili. So me, I'm like, okay, it's something I can try, but uh, it's okay, you give me the details. The guys, like, you come to our office, Event Africa. We, we do a small meeting, we give you the brief and see if you can do it. I'm like, it's our 20. So the next day I'm there, we... And, talking about the job. I'm not getting final details, but I'm getting the scope of, of work. I'm understanding what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Uh, because we are even uh, uh, translating uh, different things up. Slang slang is the equivalent of sheng, ya ukupia, unona. So if something was, if a joke was originally in slang, if you put it in Kiswahili Sanifu, it, it has to come Guys. pia kwa kwashe. Sheng. Kwa sheng. So we finish everything and I was like, ah, so you have to sign documents before you go to the next phase of the information. I'm like, ini kazi gani hii mbaka? Sijaanza lakini kuna. NDA bro. Kuna ma vitu, vitu, vitu. Mm-hmm. So man, when I'm signing the documents, I see the word Netflix somewhere. And I'm so like, like Jesus. Damn. So I don't look at the guys because they'll feel like I'm surprised. So mm-hmm. just, it's like I'm normal. Act no, but inside you are yeah, the first time yeah. I wanted to act like a Kenya. Kenyan, this is Netflix. What are you looking for? Signature. <laughs> and now, one thing that came into my mind was forget about everything. This is an opportunity. Forget the money. For branding. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so we started 
systems pale orientation you know it's a, it's a big company so uh, kuna nitty gritties because you see what netflix does uh, it has these uh, companies that are in charge of content in africa yeah. like eventy africa what nini so they are the one, ones who handle their things so you have to go through a lot of things understanding the code of conduct what that's why we did that job for like two uh, two, two two months i think it's about two months kuendelea two months even but that was in i think may june but people came to know about it in september september so i'm quiet like uh, my people don't know where i go i'm like there's something i'm doing i'll tell you guys when the time is right because uh, the contract doesn't allow them to know Oy. what i'm doing and you never told a single person no one knew not even uh, no one knew kido la kido awapi kido la told everyone but in your mind ni mnatusumbua kuna vitu tutapanga netflix vitu mambo yetu itaiva so so man i go and do a shoot i'm like there is something i want to uh, i want to rebrand i'm telling everyone i want to rebrand there is uh, there are some pictures i need to take so i take pictures i'm like easy ndio za ile siku so ah so there's a day i'm i'm uh, ilikuwa kitu kasa 12 napigiwa simu na ambia okay now you are free to tell the world because it's already live mm-hmm. and i go pale online i'd already typed that caption you've been typing it for two months in july ilikuwa nayo bro <laughs> inango janga kufinywa post to send nikaenda kwa notes Apply pressure notes copy sha take that new picture pa pa ta and i relaxed for the first 30 minutes nothing was happening it was just all normal but after one hour i felt like the world around me is now changing it's like it's like nimepata mtoi everyone is calling me hey congratulations bro this is big go oh, a whole series nini ah hey blogs pa 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 i'm like eh hey, wase kunaendaje so i think it defied everything that i was doing uh, from that day like kitu yote na trend kenya people are like butita hii ni yako wewe ndo umeandika hii even when people escaped uh, at committee <laughs> I was accused me don't leave a script. No like now I, there's a script I know you are the one writing. Which one? The one for Nini boss and the Nini boss. Now that this boss needs to be thrown this side and this boss needs to be looked for that side. No which one which one? I don't want to mention names me I don't want to go to Kiambu road. Oh. <laughs> that is not mine. That's not your script. No. My script. Oh. People, oh, oh, oh. people don't cry in my scripts. Oh. Mm. Ah yeah. Next question. What can you hold without touching it at all? Bro, nini ni unanipatia maswali ngumu. What's wrong with you? Sasa tu you are smart. Kwa ni Netflix is now the guy and does every other person. I'm smart, not smart. I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> you are smart, not smart. <laughs> so, we pass that question. Okay. Tudisha kuku. I'm going to ask again. Eh, hey, ask again. What can you hold without touching it at all? Yeah. And hold air. <laughs> Wewe weka kuku. Weka kuku hapa. Sasa so, so you've already see just okay just eat it then. You and Mamito have been dating for a quite a while. For a period of time you guys kept it under wraps then about a couple of months ago you guys were like you've broken up and everything. Are you guys still together? And if you're still together, are you guys ever looking at marriage wedding having kids is this something you guys are thinking about or might it's just let's see how it goes mm. huh? a couple of months a couple of months ago you and mamito is like you guys are not together mm. she unfollowed you i saw it on nairobi gossip club did, did mamito tell you anything no nobody spoke about it that's why i'm asking you did she I? didn't speak you didn't speak but you're here So stop pulling those smart lines for it doesn't say anything here. No, me, no. You, you see the problem with you people. With you, you people. You create story you people you people for the media. Did she unfollow you? Yes. Did you unfollow her? I, I don't her? know me I just heard from you people. Did you unfollow she, her? No, me I, me I think we follow each other. No, let me let me tell you something about relationships. Okay. And uh, any interview that I've done that someone asks about Mamito. I don't I don't give details and she doesn't because of one thing. Uh, so conversations uh, about relationship should be it will be better if you are the two of you because i feel this is something that 
and involve Nino Awili. Maybe I can say something that I'm not supposed to say. But why? Maybe she can say something. No. That, so if you get me and Mamito on Kula Kula like this, mm. don't ask anything about the industry. Just ask about it. Okay, director, bring that episode for Mamito so she's somewhere here. Then mm. Butita is here and then mm. we see. Aya, look at each other. <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> Wait. Eh. Why is she not talking? Maybe she's pregnant. You know that's how ladies do. They disappear, then they come back. Oh, thank God for this new gift. Okay. Okay. <laughs> maybe Mamito <laughs> is pregnant. No, I just said So you're saying you've done your duty. No, you've me done said, due diligence. I said maybe, because that's maybe why she's not posting. But uh, she has posted yesterday, I saw something. See, we have Nini. Ah. See, Namwaga Inje, Nini, but ah, inje, let's inje, hope. Inje. <laughs> Another one again. It's a habit. It's a habit. So, you have not answered my question. Are you guys planning to do like a wedding or something? Ama is just come with when we, do a, when we do a wedding, we'll send you an invite. You'll be the MC. Thank you. Yeah. Aye. And, and you MC, well, when we call you, the way you do, you even say, client, happy client, Butita, you post me. Okay. Mm. So, everything concerning wedding, okay. family, we'll let the public know. Aye. Next question. Is it legal for a man to marry his widow's sister? If, if the sister has ripened. <laughs> For the other celebrities, please don't fear to come to the show. These questions are this way because this butita. Yeah, so if you get it, yeah. That's why these questions are this way. You, if you come, we'll ask you simple ones. How many colors in the Kenyan flag? Mm. What's the capital city of Djibouti? Inheriting a wife. Yeah. Is it legal for a man to marry his widow's sister? I don't know if it's legal or if it's illegal, but I know it happens in some cultures. Okay. But now people should be very careful. <laughs> You're failing terribly, bro. Put it here so that if, when I continue. If Netflix can watch this episode, <laughs> they will ask you. Ah, they are mature. They will understand. <laughs> so, mm. the question is, is it legal for a man to marry his widow's sister? Mm. If a man has a widow, it means the man is dead. A dead man cannot marry unless it's a, it's a ghost. Uh, mm. A man marrying a widow. Can a man marry his widow's sister? Widow's sister. If you die, mm. your madam becomes a widow. It's a widow. Mm. Can you marry your widow's sister? Uh -uh. Leave it. You didn't, okay. see you, are you, didn't, you didn't say you are a widow. It's okay. How is it running SPM? It's cool, man. It's Being fun. a CEO, you used to be alone. Nowadays, you are running a team of like 20, 30 people. Mm. Don't, don't even mention. How do you manage to poach? A whole marketing manager for Indomie. <laughs> <laughs> I always look, I'm like, what did, you, what did you put on the table? Like, you came for one minute, you are working with Indomie, you guys did a two eye, and that time you had dyed your hair green, blue. Mm, blue. Why were you dyeing your hair blue, first of all? You see, and no one, I've never said this, mm. but the smart people knew. You see, when, when we were launching SPM Buzz, I wanted to be attached to the idea because it's a vision. I started seeing it from 2017, 2018. Mm -hmm. So the red and blue, I wanted just to live my life around SPM bars and understand. Oh, those are the color theme colors for yeah, SPM. Yeah, so my dye was the logo for SPM, which was blue and red. And red. Okay. There's a blue, then red. So I was to bring the Kutoa dye when SPM was at 20,000. Okay. And I did that. Oh. Yeah, we live well, 20k. Adios. How did you manage to poach the marketing manager? No, we are. Uh, I don't mean work see, for you. No, what, what happens? Ideas align sometimes. And uh, you, 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 like, like uh, your ideas today might decide to align with, 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 with Ruto's or Raila's idea. Mm. If your ideas align, then you can work together because Mato has ideas, great ideas. Me have other ideas, but if you look at both of our ideas, there's there is a similar direction they are taking. Okay. So why can't we put down the ego? All of us and the salary. <laughs> and decide that we need to build this into a big a big thing. Because okay. at the end of the day we need each other. Okay. Kuna value mina letter, kuna value ana le? a letter. Ana letter. So basically I think uh, we were just following our ideas. Okay. Then nature made it happen. So how is it running SPM? Challenges. I, it, it, it's cool, but most of the time I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't dive in, Sana, uh, because I feel like I okay. This is my life. I'm an artist. 
stand up First. comedian i am a creative director then i am a creative for spm buzz okay. so there is spm africa spm buzz and there is my life so when i decide that yoke nataka kuona tu vile zinaenda we lose it because now every foundation of each idea there had a creative background of we want something that will appeal to this so me uh, i'm more of a creative director in these things than even a ceo even my business card is written creative director at spm africa because still the ceo because that is what i do better okay sasa sisi ni mavijana wadogo tupige kazi bana in fact in fact at spm we don't have at office ya mdosi office ya nini sisi tunakaga mali tunaonana ule na because there's no money for space yeah there is space we even have extra rooms mm. there but now uh, we want to build a culture whereby we are not colleagues we are family <laughs> yeah. because that's why you you you'll come to the office unapata ni dance na cloud hapo there's no only rumor that you 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 collect strays eh what do you say that spm media is a is a collection of strays what is that editors who have been rejected <laughs> uh, <laughs> the camera people have been rejected <laughs> everything is things that never work then you bring them together who was who was rejected who was rejected and we picked i don't know me i'm just telling you what mm. i've seen online what i hear other people saying no that no, that those are people who are jealous of the dream okay. because everyone that is at spm was qualified. originally from scratch even if someone uh even if if even even people who didn't know about to do something they were trained well at SP because we believe we can empower you and do something there so what are you good at do you want to enhance it how can we facilitate you to learn about that yeah so everyone there has never uh, i think only like one person or two people the rest their first place of work was SPM you say that the ladies at work at SPM have a lot of attitude yeah they have oh they have attitude we'll chase them if they have attitude <laughs> We don't want people that seed. How do you guys manage to get all those backstage passes because every event that is happening mm. SPM normally has an exclusive footage mm. that nobody else has. Mm. Are you guys working on Nani Dobare? No, there are some cartels. Like Kido Kido, <laughs> the guy called Silver Kido is a cartel. He's a, ca- <laughs> he's a, he's a content a, cartel. He's a cartel. Mm. And even if you ask him for video ya state house kwa jikoni. Yes. Atakuliza yanakuru ama ya Nairobi. So, that America was being arrested. Mm. Nobody had a Nobody had that. SPM buzz. SPM I'm buzz. like yeah. Saudi Soul was happening. Now, uh, Backstage see, access. Uh, me uh, what's one thing I discovered late that in every company if people are working for the company they don't go extra mile. True. But True. if they're working to better themselves using you are just leveraging using this company. company is But everyone has an end goal. Yes. Then everyone goes beyond. Like you just wake up and you find him say akosamburu. Buda na dunini samburu. Eh. Eh because now what drinking what are we? Because this thing is like uh okay I don't know about the future because maybe a day will come will be like 70 people 80 okay. people. But now we are we we are we, we are less and we feel like we own this dream together. Okay. Me my dream would be that if you take part in building this dream to a certain level even if you leave we should be grown ups to say that umse kuna royalty ya upata ju umse kuna vita alipigana na hiki kitu ikianza yenye hatuwezi ignore sasa watu wengine wakuja washerekee tu baada baadaye so everyone that works at SPM Africa and SPM Buzz does it for themselves they do it because they want to advance what they are doing let me now ask you a very simple question that mm. probably no you didn't get the answer correct so yeah. let me ask this and so you can eat it's a very simple question yeah. Capital city of India New Delhi Yes now you eat <laughs> Is a gazelle a predator or a prey <laughs> I'm allowing you to eat because I don't like the way you're looking at that me. one of gazelle I'll answer in picking this oh. <laughs> Okay sawa So there's a lot of jokes that go around about you and your skin tone mm. I would call it racism but okay. we, are, we are all black mm. So everybody myself included I, I, I would say people like to joke oh it is you know midnight uh, he absorbs light <laughs> and all that <laughs> i know sometimes it doesn't come out well some people mean well some don't mean well you being a comic how do you take it when people have those jokes for how you look like your skin tone and everything how do you take it does it hurt you does it offend you 
Wait, are you? You need I'm something okay. to drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Let me have something to drink. What do you want to drink? Bring two. Nime nyango mara mbili. This guy is not happy to drink it. What do you want to drink? Passion. Something passion. Passion. Mm. Okay. Give him uh, passion juice. You see, uh, since I was born, uh, me I've been black since I was young. So <laughs> <laughs> all my life. Uh, I've had people telling me I'm black from, I don't even remember the first day, but I just woke up uh, in this life and realized that when somebody say I'm black, it's like, ah, niaje? Like me, it's something you, you, you grew up in and it, it doesn't sound like a matusi, a anything. But now I realized, growing up all these years, it's very easy to tell when someone is saying it to offend you or okay. is saying it to to joke okay. uh, most of the time ni wase wana joke tu ah muda sikuoni kuja tupigwe picha muda nini so me personally i've never faced an issue of uh, i don't know if that's racism i think it's colorism. colorism the issue of being denied something because i'm black or being treated in a bad way actually kuna tu ni treat too poor hiyo Awe ni mwausi ebu kuja kwanza hapa ni kununulia kitu wewe. So, uh, so oh. to me I see, I, I feel like most people just joke with it. Oh. But I'll be smart to know when someone is saying it in a racial manner. Okay. Eh. Actually, people call you black are black. True. Yeah. But eh, wase wala ito na filingi, itaka racism. <laughs> eh. Aya. Last question. Wait. A gazelle is a prey. Huh? Ask if it's a predator or a prey. So okay. I've answered, I'm eating. Okay. Sawa. Mm. Let me have the phone. Then you give me pocket money. Yeah. You give me pocket money. Mm. Why are you remove, returning this? You know, this one is eaten by the elders in the... It's called? It's called... Uh, this is Imondo. Mm -mm. In Mugongo. Imondo oh. is this one. Imondo is this one. Okay. Mm. This is... This one is just the back. Now the one that extends from here mm. is called Shiasundi. 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 It's called Shiasundi. Me, I know these things. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm from Butere, Marama. You know, mm. Luya elders were very evil. Those guys sat down yeah. and decided mm. they will eat the whole chicken mm. and make their women suffer. So they say, the leg of the chicken mm. is for elders. Mm -hmm. This one is for elders. Mm -hmm. That's Shiasundi for the elders. Mm -hmm. This Imondo for the elders. Mm -hmm. This chest for the elders. It remained the legs of the, of the, the chicken and, and the, the neck and, and the, the head. head. They gave kids. The head is kids. So women is neck and legs, surely. And you know that thing is so big in Western, to a point that when they slaughter chicken, yeah. a man must eat this. Even if the man is two years old. Uh, do we have a two-year-old man? Uh, just a boy. That's a man. Yeah. Ah, You see, uh, for example, uh, your youngest boy is how old? No, I only have one boy. He's 11. 11. My firstborn. If you're not, uh, if, if you're not around, maybe you've traveled, then uh, the mom decides to slaughter a chicken. He's the one who's supposed to eat this and this. Ah. So it if is culture. Eat, you can't fight culture. What if you're not lawyer? Mm, you're, 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 you're breaking the... Okay. Whether that thing was just needy. It's just greed. greed. Now your generation is the one to change it. I went to Kambani one day. They were having a party and kids were eating these things. These ones, man. I felt offended. Kids, man. <laughs> it is a kid with a Disrespecting the chickens. It was a deep thought. Actually, in Kambani, yeah. those soft, soft parts. Is all, mam, kono nini. They are the prime parts. She has sundi and these ones, this mm. one is for kids. Ah. Mm. Okay, speaking of greed, mm. this is the last thing I want to discuss with you. There's a lot of greed in the, <coughs> in the Sorry, entertainment yes. industry. Mm. Let's talk about comedians. <coughs> Let's not talk about musicians because mm. they've had their fair share of drama for the last two, three months or so. Mm. Entertainers, there's a lot of greed that we have that we are not moving as a force. Mm. We are independent, we're individual. Personally, I've tried to bring a couple of entertainers together, <laughs> comedians to be, to be specific, and I'm like, yo, if we move together, we'll make more money 
Think of the money. You don't even have to like me. Mm. But we need a body that protects comedians. Mm -hmm. We need to be identified. I don't understand why right now as a comic, if I want to shoot outside Miale on the on the road, police will come and arrest me and start harassing me. We need to have like a pass. And you don't even have a body that will come to defend you. There's nobody. Nobody <clears> like <throat> you'll have to bribe your way out or call someone who knows someone. We need to have a pass that if you just show a pass, you're like, I'm a comic or I'm an entertainer. You'll be allowed to shoot because you're marketing the country. And then comedians, you're like, okay, cool. Someone calls me for an event, for example, and I'm like, yo, if you don't give me 10,000, I'm not coming. And then another <coughs> dude just goes somewhere. He doesn't want 10, give me two. Like, why, no, why do we have the greed? And no, just use real examples. If you don't give me 150, I'm not coming. Another one asks for 40. You want them to think you are humble. That's what you are paid, 150, 200, 300. Say it as it is. You earned it, my friend, all those years. Let's use 10. Let's mm. use 10. It's Me I feel hypothetical. Like. Yeah. What's the problem? Why can't we just... I want you to go and watch something called the Willie Lynch letter. Yeah? The Willie Lynch letter. Okay. I told you you'll tap some wisdom. It's on YouTube. Mm. It's a story of how Africans were broken. You see what happened? Colonialism had just come to an end to a point that you cannot raise... A you, you cannot raise your hand or threaten an African to do something. Mm -hmm. Like you can't beat an African so that Spell they can't Spell Willie Lynch, I can't find it. Willie W I Lynch for lynching. Yeah. Oh. So now, this is what happened. Uh, they, they, they tasked this Willie, uh, the guy called Willie, he was a genius, to come up with a formula that can help uh, them colonize the blacks for the next coming years without it being a direct thing for beating people. What? So, so you know how colonial the slavery was? Yes. Kiboko, Fear. Something that we Fear overcame us. that yeah. to a point now that they were like, hey, these people are strong than us. They're dominant. Yeah. How are we going to control them now that they want to be independent? So they came with that. Willie Lynch was tasked with, to bring a strategy. And he came with a strategy called breaking down uh, a slave where you are broken psychologically to become a slave in your mental, in your mind. If you look at the Willie Lynch letter, they, there were some things they were supposed to do. First, it was to, to separate the, 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 the dark blacks to the light. Oh, that's where the field nigger uh -huh. and the house nigger came uh -huh. about. Secondly, oh. it was supposed to make female uh, blacks feel like they cannot depend on males. They can be independent. And the males to be to live in fear that and they can be will take over uh, and, and they can be destroyed if they they become big they if uh, there's a uh, something they did they took a black person horse ikashika mgumoja and the other leg so they break the pass the person in public so you see uh, women are like when they're raising the boys they're like manze you can grow uh, don't be defiant about these guys they'll destroy you and the the ladies are being told you see what they're doing to men. So when you grow, be in the pair. So that we constantly be in, in war mentally with our ideas. So that as, 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 as blacks, as Africans, we keep on fighting each other and not have that unity or a common goal. Uh, it was breaking down, the breaking of a slave, like a horse. A horse is a wild animal, but it's broken to serve. True. Every horse has to be broken. Yes. There is a series of things. Army people are broken. To, to remove the, the feeling of a person and become a person who protects them. It's a monster, yes, now, man. I, I've told you all that, all, uh, uh, the entire story because I wanted to explain why mm. artists are not coming together. The foundations of artists in this country, when they are upcoming, it's purely breaking. It's just breaking them psychologically. Like me, I would... I would I, okay, don't... don't uh, don't even talk about uh, money is the smallest issue. The issue is how is our boss treating me and you? You see, we, if, if I'm being raised to hate you when we are growing up, when you are, maybe you are upcoming comedians under one label or, uh, or musicians under one label, but the label is trying to show you who you ni mnoma, who you ni nini, one, yeah. uh, it's trying to, we are not opportunities. Okay. So, so when, when, we, when, we, when, we, when, we, when we start making it, we live in fear of, if I start working with Obina, Obina ta make kunishinda, 
ama ubina nipe mkono nipe mkono tupishane nipe mkono <laughs> so that 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 nini that 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 thing i think the way just uh, do your history well you'll find out that any upcoming talents that have been brought up well with good treatment good nini they'll work together to the end but any house that had issues eh hey, because now uh, we are both upcomings uh, when we are starting but i'm made to feel that you are getting opportunities that you don't deserve yeah. mimi nafinyiliwa so when we all make kunako ka blood kunako ka blood kunako ka blood kunako ka blood so i think how the struggle of coming up and how we are being given resources and how our mentors are treating us specifically mentors they are they are failing when it comes to making this ground even that's why tuko broken natutaki ka pamoja it's not they are failing yeah. they don't i always tell people that the people who are above us the people who, the top tier you know we are like mm. we are like number three. Mm. there was the ridiculous guys then there was the Churchill guys hey, the Jalas, then we are number 3 you are number 3 mimi niko hapo you are number 2 one the tier you are in the range for akina ridiculous you talk to us we are there oh. <laughs> hey, you usually say okay so i'm saying you and the other guys who are up there <laughs> they never focused on bringing guys together mm-hmm. like until now i don't understand why we don't have a medical cover most of for, them for well, comedians mm-hmm. comics mm. like today a comedian will die then tomorrow changia us changia us people are like oh this guy is there because there are no mm. systems and the government is not giving Bro, even musicians do you know it's bad the number of people we are as comedians how many we even don't need even if making doing that thing is impossible our numbers can rally behind an insurance company to create a package specifically exactly eh ki check okay or is it happy care and what yep you see so when someone dies the house the coffin the whatever is sorted medical bills even like other it. development but nobody who is above mm. wants to do it and that's why i'm doing it mm. now that's why i'm trying to bring guys together and we see if we can get things like those we ones. have to change the mindset first and we'll work with a few who are work and people need to see their partners as, let me see you as a business partner and not as a competitor who's here to take from me but okay the structures are just okay to toy pesa to change you know what annoys me is comedians you see someone they want to take from you mm. and you don't have shit what is there to take <coughs> we are all driving mediocre cars we are living in mediocre houses mm. we are de- dating mediocre men and mediocre women and mm. we have mediocre lifestyles mm-hmm. and then you're like you want to take from take from you what you're paying rent dude Bro. like Sorry. mental <sighs> mental mental Go and see picky picky people are uniting they are building estates imagine building circles imagine because no one is trying to divide them when you are divided when you are young you grow up with that mentality feeling that everyone is an, wants to be your enemy the point is that one day people will test the fruits of being together and they'll regret the, for the time they've been passing thank you so much for coming Amazing mean, when you bring up anyone in the industry yeah just tell them that human resource is the biggest resource thank you respect Human, human beings work together with people. You know even if a madman dies there'll be funeral. True. And people will come. True. And people will cry. Mm. Whether real whether fake. Because life is important. This was a a work episode we've learned a lot. Mm. If you've not learned anything from this episode then you have a problem. Yes, that's For the comedians watching this if we are together bro there's so much money we can make. There's so much help we can give other people and there's so much guidance and protection we can have when we come together don't think about me don't even like me i know you like money think of the money look at that look thing. at your children look at your family if you like where you live or you live in that two bedroom house forever and thinking mm. you've made it mm. and pay rent or you'll go get that mortgage and pay it for the next 20 30 years and anywho thank you so much for together. coming you know me i can sit down and say this 40 million that i have i don't yeah. need people but i'm like <laughs> Goodbye. Is, what is, what Subscribe, mean? like, comment in the comment section. Tell us what you think. All right. Next episode. Cheers, Butita. Thank you. It's okay. Don't talk. Thank you.